Hey ghouls, Terry Kruger, the sweetest psychopath you'll ever meet, and welcome back to my channel. And this is almost the finished look. <laughs> Willow stopped by to say hi. She's looking at everything on the table. Say hi to the camera, Willow. Look at that little face. <laughs> uh, so I went ahead and used the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collaboration, uh, the Conspiracy Palette. Um, and I also got the Mini Controversy Palette, but she will begin her own video next. I want to kind of like take my time and just play with her by herself and see what kind of looks I can create with this. Um, I'm excited to play with it. I'm really looking for this color and this color. I haven't even swatched them yet, and honestly I haven't been watching like reviews or anything because I want to get my own opinion on it, and I don't really want to take what other people say. I've probably watched like I think Teresa is dead, um, <laughs> but that's because I always watch Teresa's dead, so I always check her video out. I think that's the only, um, if I'm honest, like the only video I've watched on the palette besides the Jeffree Star and the Shane Dawson uh, series. But it comes in this cute little box. And first, I have to say thank you, a very special thank you to my friend and subscriber, Victoria. Um, she actually got me the fucking controversy palette and the mini controversy palette because, bitch, I was fucking there. On, I was actually in class trying to order online. My friend was at home. She was trying to order online. And because of all the fucking bullshit, uh, we weren't able to order anything but the mirrors. My mirrors did get shipped out yesterday, so I should have them by next week. I will show them in a video in the future whenever I finally get them. But because I wasn't able to get this online because I was trying to order from Jeffrey's website because um, I wanted what I really fucking wanted more than anything were the two side bags, the pink and the black one. So I decided I'm just going to order everything off his website. But when it started crashing and I couldn't get through, um, I did hop over to Morphe and Beautylish. But by that time, everything was sold out. But... Uh, Victoria did actually go to the local Morphe where she lives and she waited in line and got us both the palette. So I have to say fucking thank you for making this video possible because without her I wouldn't have been able to get the palette because like Kim Patris, um, if I cannot get it right now then I don't want it. I don't want it at all. And honestly if I didn't get this palette or the pre-order and I would have had to wait till next year completely honest, I love Jeffree Star, I love fucking Shane Dawson, and I don't fuck Shane Dawson, <laughs> I love Shane Dawson, um, but I'm the type, like, if I don't get something I want at that moment, and I had to, I would have had to wait to 2020 to get it, I would have completely and honestly lost complete interest, and I would have just been like, eh, I wouldn't have wanted to get it, honestly, I'm just being honest, and that's with every fucking thing, not just makeup, it's honestly like, if I can't get it now and I have to wait and it's not something like I need, then I kind of would just lose interest and I wouldn't have bothered to get it. But I'm happy I did because I fucking love the palette. I honestly tried to use as many colors in here as I possibly could to create this look. I went ahead and used my Aaliyah lip liner to kind of create the top part here. And I did use the NARS liquid lipstick uh, vein to create the line at the bottom and then smoked it out with uh, Cheeto dust, hot Cheeto dust. Um, oh, they couldn't use the name Hachita for legal rights. But let's see, to create the look, I went ahead and I did use the colors. Um, my right is here, which is the black one. I did go ahead and top my sh my liner with it. Um, and the top part of my eye with the crease, I did use Not A Fact, which I thought was going to be more of a red shade, but I actually love that it's more of a purple shade because I fucking love purples so much. And it is fucking stunning. I love that. Um, of course, food videos, bitch, it's a pressed pigment, and she is stunned. I put her all in the corner of my eye and smoked her up just a little bit under my eye. 
Sorry, I have willows like fur all over my face right now. Um, I did, and usually I'm not a fan of silver, but this fucking uh, diet, what is it called? But this diet cola was fucking amazing. I put that in the mo more of the front part of my eye, and then I did end it with sleep paralysis, and then to kind of create like a little um, blending, and to kind of what are you Willow? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, sorry, my dog's acting a fool over there. Um, and then I did use a uh, conspiracy and Illuminati in the middle to kind of blend all of this together. Of course, um, Illuminati is in the back, smoking out to the dark, with conspiracy blending out in the front to be a lot lighter. So I am fucking in love with this palette. Like. I'm not trying to suck Shane or Jeffrey's dick. Like, oh my god, this is just like, you know, it's honestly like the typical Jeffree Star quality. It is pretty good. I am happy with it. Everything's stuck and blended out perfectly. And the, the Shade Star is actually really fucking cute. And I have to hand it to Shane because if this wasn't a Shane and Jeffrey thing, I probably wouldn't have bought the palette. But because I'm a big fan of both of them, I was like, I'm gonna buy it regardless, whatever. But I actually love that he picked this fucking um, color story because they're colors I would have normally played with on my own and playing with them. I mean, besides like the yellow and the dark purple, but like the silvers, these green shades and everything are not colors I usually flock to, but I really fucking did like it. Oh, and I did use this color um, spiraling like to blend, um, what is that? Flaming hot. <laughs> Flaming hot at the bottom, I like smoked it out with that. So with that said, I want to go ahead and add a little more to my face because there is more colors in here like Trish and Pigment that I didn't get to use that I still want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and find a way to play with these right now. I'm probably honestly going to use them as like a blush and I also want to use Cheeto Dust with that cute ass pig print in it. Um, I did use the color Ranch. Um, to kind of highlight the, my brow bone and bitch that is fucking pigmented. I kind of want to do a look where I use that all over the lid because that was fucking stunning. <laughs> I also missed out on getting the pig bolt. Um, I actually mostly really wanted the color Shane because that was something I really don't have. Um, but that I missed out on it. And I actually really, really wanted Shane Glossin. It's just a clear gloss, but the packaging's cute and it's called Shane Glossin. And I thought that was fucking hilarious. But those are other things I missed out on too. And I was trying to use just nothing but Jeffree products for this video. But then I remembered I have an Urban Decay lipstick called conspiracy so that's what I used on my lips today you know fits the theme um, yeah I've had this lipstick for a while and I've actually never used it so I'm like damn this is cute I think I may have used it once I'm lying but I'm gonna go ahead and top it with safe word from Jeffree Star just to kind of make this a more all Jeffree product so I'll go ahead and put it here Ooh, that really pulled it together because this one has a bit of green in it and I feel like it's making the green in my eyes pop out a little more too so, hallelujah. I love it. <laughs> so, bitch, I fucking love it. And I would definitely say if you are a fan of Shane Dawson or Jeffree Star and collect makeup, this is definitely something to get because, bitch, the packaging alone. This part right here is even fucking metal. Like, that is so fucking amazing. And I love, like, the spirally thing on it, too. Like, the colors are amazing. And even if you're, like, not a fan of either or, but the color story speaks to you, then I would definitely say to go ahead and pick this up whenever it's available because it's completely sold out right now. Um, but the quality is really good, and I'm actually tempted to... And I'm actually really um, excited to dip into the first row where it's all, like, natural shades. I will do something later in the future to create, like, uh, a natural look you can get from this palette because you can definitely pull out an everyday look from this palette and also, of course, something more, like, bold. Um... <laughs> Honestly though, this looks like makeup I would do on a regular basis going to work or just going to hang out with people. Uh, food videos, the yellow color did have a bit of a kick up, but that's mostly because it is a pressed pigment. No big deal to me, I honestly don't care. But I'm adding pigment to my nose right now. How people kind of do that little blush thing where you add some blush to your nose. I thought pigment would be the cutest color to do that, but it's not too bright, it's not too crazy. And then for highlight, I do want to use the Mystery Frost from the Halloween Mystery Box because I really fucking did love this color. So I'm going to go ahead and just take up my Fenty brush. And we're just going to give her a little moment right here. I want to shout out to my friend Carla. She totally redid my hair. Um, I told her I want something 80s, so she kind of gave me like an 80s shag. And then the orange skunk stripe I had, we turned it yellow and bitch I'm fucking living I fucking love yellow and orange so much 
So I was like, bitch, let's color this yellow, turn into a little bumblebee. Hopefully I don't fuck up my face because I don't know how strong the pigments in here are yet in some colors because I haven't used them. But I am gonna take Trish, which is this fucking amazing ass pink color, and I'm gonna kinda try to use that as a blush. So let's lightly tap into her. Oh girl, I picked up a lot on this brush. Ooh, that is cute. Ooh. I'm gonna have to blend it out, but that's fine because you know it's a shadow, not actually blush. I should have tapped it on. This is gonna be better. Yes, bitch. Bitch, that color. That Trish. Oh, I definitely feel 80s now with this new hair and this bright ass pink blush. Ooh. Let me add a little more because I feel like I need some more down here. Okay, that color Trish, she's not fucking around. Just like Trisha Paytas, she is definitely a showstopper. Cause bam, she fucking entered the room and yeah, <laughs> she stands out more than anything else here. Wow, this is definitely a fun palette. Like, I'm having so much fun with this. Like I'm like, can we add more makeup on? Can I just start putting more and more makeup on and start fucking doing shapes and designs on my goddamn head? But like I said, I'm not trying to suck Shane or Jeffrey's dick just because I'm big fans of them. If it sucked, bitch. I would have said it sucked because you know what? I love them both to death, but I also, also watching their, their videos, I was like, bitch, can we quit it with the modesty? With Shane being like, I, I don't think it's going to sell out. And Jeffrey like, we didn't expect that. I'm like, bitch, yes, you did. <laughs> it's like, girl, 20 million subscribers, 15 million subscribers, combine it together, multiply it by like five. That's what the fuck you were going to sell. So <laughs> is it just me? Am I being a little fortune teller or can I smell like a Shane and Jeffrey, uh, part two collaboration. <laughs> Imagine that, like, oh my God, this person was so successful. Like, I don't see why they wouldn't do a second one, you know? Like, I want a second one and the first one just came out. I barely got this last night and I want to play with it another one already. <laughs> time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my review and my look. If you want to hang out with me in between uploads, you could follow me on Instagram. That's Tara underscore Kruger. I'll leave it down in the link below as always. But don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. I want to take a minute to thank all my new subscribers. I know I've gotten a few more in the past few days. And I really want to say I thank and appreciate each and every single one of you guys who have subscribed to my channel. I really do fucking appreciate it. So if you're new to my channel or if you're just browsing through videos looking about the palette, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe. I promise we have a good time here. I love spooky shit, and I love horror movies, and I love makeup, and that's pretty much what we do here. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please share this video if you can, and until the next time, I'll see you ghouls later.